I have with me Marty O'Halloran. Is that right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. He's the CEO of DDB Worldwide. Uh, and I think the biggest complaint he has at this point with the agency and, and the, the perception around it is that, you know, despite having about 60% data led, uh, doing uh, data led work, for about 60% of their percentage doing that, still called mainstream agency. Right? So tell us, tell us, Marty, what are the uh, different ways by which you are uh, becoming digitally driven? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, DDB has got an amazing heritage, you know, uh, over 70 years old and we've become famous over the years because of our brand building, you know, traditional media, mm -hmm. uh, television, print, outdoor, etc. But uh, obviously as the world's changed uh, mm -hmm. and the, the, the digital age, uh, we've been through the digital age now for quite a while, mm -hmm. you know, that perception of, of your strength is still you know, the thing that uh, is a bit frustrating for me because, you know, we are, uh, again, most of our agencies, around half of our team are uh, data digital natives. Uh, so, so again, I think you've got to uh, have agencies all around the world that actually can truly deliver creativity in all the channels mm -hmm. and in all the exciting new uh, platforms that have evolved over the years. So. Uh, yeah, we, we continue to invest in the new as well as, you know, celebrate the traditional media that does so well for our clients. You, you just, you have a good, a very strong gaming vertical now. What are the other uh, different verticals you've launched in the digital arena? Well, I think I think the, um, the, the, the biggest growth we're actually getting is from what we call precision marketing. Okay. So it's actually, you know, it's a, it's a, a the fusion of data and technology and how that it opens up so many more opportunities for, for our clients to build brands. But again, linked to that, uh, you know, gaming, you know, the, you know, I think people are always quite staggered to know that, you know, gaming is, uh, you know, from a revenue point of view is as big as Hollywood, uh, bigger than Hollywood actually. So, so again, we're, we're doing some pioneering uh, creativity working with the, uh, you know, the gaming industry. And uh, again, that, yeah, we have to be where our customers are. Uh, so again, it takes investment uh, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, understanding that world. Uh, but um, uh, again, uh, there's you know that's, that's an example of what we try. We try to always be one step ahead of, of you know, where where the world's moving, so we can help our clients navigate um, and take the most make the most out of those opportunities. You know, coming to DDD Madra, your in uh, agency. Uh, you know, it's been a consistent performer at Cannes. Every year it manages to bring back some medals. Uh, it makes us proud, but it's never really managed to steal the thunder. Is there a reason why it's not really going all out with that, you know, that one big idea which is going to really rule at Cannes? Yeah, I think that's, <laughs> look, that's the, that's the holy grail for every creative agency. And, uh, you know, uh, DDB Mudra is one of our uh, strongest agencies. And, you know, it's been a consistent performer in the Indian market. But I think the, the challenge for, you know, all creatives in India is, is how do we truly be world class in terms of what we do? Because uh, he, we're here at Cannes at the moment, and you look at the standard of creativity uh, and some of the countries that are, uh, you know, you know, performing well. It, it was interesting, um, like we had Colombia, uh, you know, pick up their first lines in many years uh, just yesterday, and you know, again, I just I, I love to see that process uh, where you know an agency really focuses on the quality of the work. And as a result, they, they get uh, applauded for it. So mm -hmm. I know Aditya and uh, um, Rahul are uh, very focused on being world class and they consistently do work that is recognized around the world. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I won't, it's not, might be far away before, you know, mm -hmm. they are sort of on the main stage. Um, and, you know, you know, and the whole of India will be proud because I think, I think again, when, uh, when the, uh, any agency wins from a country, the whole country gets behind it because you know we're always very proud of um, where we're going. And, and uh, which is your favorite uh, entry from India this year? They've got some really unique ideas. Which is your favorite? Well, well, they've, they've say they've got quite a few, and uh, you know I think um, actually uh, Aditya is uh, is here judging as well. Um, oh. He's he's on the effectiveness, creative, creative effectiveness. The, the creative effectiveness. So. And again, that's what I, I love about, what I love also about Mudra is there's a good balance of global and local clients as well. And it's great to see the, the, the amazing creativity. You know, consistently we've done great work for clients like Johnson & Johnson, 
um, and, and, and really, you know, taking work that is actually doing social good as well uh, for um, uh, in, like feminine, feminine hygiene, for example. So the mm -hmm. more the more we the more we uh, balance out, you know, uh, great creative that drives results for our clients, but also. We, we have a real focus of what we can do to make society better as well and how we can use creativity to open up opportunities or help people, you know, move out of poverty into, uh, you know, a better life. Uh, so, so again, you know, I'm really proud of the work that we, we do around the world um, and, and I know that's a real focus for our team in India as well. And do you also feel that we've kind of, at can as well, we've moved away from the sentiment-led emotional advertising to uh, something which is very you know, more in awe of the digital idea or the platform that it's uh, you know kind of highlighting uh, you know because I also was going through the entries of uh, DDB Mudra uh, and all of them are so unique with regard and they're all digitally led yeah. and I think Indeed is the only one which is obviously a TVC but even there it's it's, it's a light-hearted uh, banter of sorts which which really drives home the point there's no soft it is not a soft story anymore yeah, so yeah. Do, do you think that's a welcome change uh, that's happening at can because otherwise every story would start with you know yeah no, I, think, <laughs> I, I, I still think both are really important you know i, I saw a great campaign uh, just uh, recently for mcdonald's uh, that was a very emotional it was a story about a father and uh, daughter um, mm -hmm. and you know it was it was beautiful and i think I think it is a, is a balance in terms of the emotional storytelling, but also, you know, in, you know especially in India, in terms of we have to be where mm -hmm. our customers are, mm -hmm. uh, and obviously using digital channels uh, and having the right messaging in those channels is really important. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, you know, I talk a lot about emotion at scale, which is the tr traditional creativity that we do in terms of great storytelling or TV. But uh, emotion and context, which is really socially driven, uh, using the, the technology platforms and, and social channels, uh, I think, you know, how do we uh, apply our creativity there um, is the question I always ask. And, and, and I think Mudra does an amazing job in terms of, you know, the, you know the, the amount of digital talent we have in that agency um, is, is, you know, world class. And I think, you know, so you've got to get that balance right. And you also said you're trying something new and interesting with uh, regard to motivating talent to have uh, an award show, uh, you know, where someone from other countries is judging the work from another country. Can, can you tell us a little about that and how does that work? Yeah, no, we have an internal system. Uh, we call it Bullseye. And what, what we do is we peer review work in development. Mm -hmm. So uh, for India, for example, we'll have other creatives out of uh, Singapore, Sydney, London, for example, looking at the work. Mm -hmm. and actually giving suggestions on how we can improve it, how can we make it better. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, that is that is because we, you know, we are determined to be the, the most awarded uh, creative powerhouse globally, but also the benefit for local clients is that we end up with uh, amazing world-class work for them mm -hmm. uh, in their uh, endeavours to build their brands locally. So, so yeah, it's, it's a real focus for us to sort of keep raising the bar all the time and uh, and it's actually, you know, the other benefit has been just the camaraderie that comes from our network supporting each other. And, uh, mm. it, you know, I sort of loosely call it, it's like the, it's the creative collective of, of our best minds working together to help each other succeed. And just one last question. You know, last year and the year before last, when we came to Cannes, uh, you know, we, we spoke about, we heard so much about uh, consultancies being a threat to creative agencies. This year it's AI. <laughs> so what are your thoughts? What is AI really going to be? Is it going to be a threat? Is it going to be a boon for creative agencies? No, look, there, there, no. <clears throat> there's no doubt that AI uh, will take jobs out of our industry. But uh, it also opens up huge opportunities for us to actually deliver better insights uh, and improve uh, the creativity that we do. AI will never replace the power of humans and, and the creativity that comes from that. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's about, you know, I, I, I don't see it as a threat. I see it as an exciting development uh, and it's how we can use that uh, to our advantage. Uh, and, you know, it, it's it, it, we're just at the start of this journey, uh, but I think it's a really exciting time. Uh, and even just the, 
the trials and experimenting we're doing, uh, you know, you, you, you have to tread carefully with AI because there's lots of intellectual property uh, mm. issues we're going to have to navigate. But uh, we're determined to sort of, you know, be a leader in that area and we, we've got huge investments uh, and we've got some global partnerships we're actually announcing here in Cannes uh, this week. Uh, and, and I think, you know, it sort of shows how seriously we're taking it. So it's an exciting time. Thank you so much for speaking to us and we would love to catch up with you when you're in India. Oh, that'll be a pleasure. Thank you.